Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would film a little nursery tour of Baby Girl's Nursery. I'm a little over 37 weeks right now so she could really come anytime. I'm hoping she comes a little early but we'll see. Um, so I thought I would just show you how we decorated her nursery. I can try and tell you where things are from and just show you a little glimpse into her room. It's pretty simplistic and not overly decorated, I don't think, but I think it's really cute. So you walk right in here and I have this cute little wooden thing on her door right now with the letter J, that's what her first name starts with. And I don't know if I'll leave that there, but I just thought it was really cute. All right, so you walk in and here on the left is kind of like her changing station setup. Here it's pretty, uh, like I said, simple. This is gonna be her laundry basket and I picked this up. I thought it looked really nice from, I think I got that from either Home Goods or Marshalls. And this is just a really simple, affordable um, dresser slash changing table from Wayfair. We bought the little tray to sit on it and then a pad to go in it for the changing part. And then it's removable, so it's really easy to just have it as a dresser down the road. And I just have this little diaper caddy here for now with um, like a diaper balm, some hand sanitizer, and some disinfecting wipes. But I'm just gonna see what I kind of use the most and need, and that will probably change. And then I have, and the diaper caddy is from Amazon. And then I have this really cute macrame that I ordered off of Etsy. So starting with the drawers, in the left drawer I have two really cute little web nubs that I got for my shower, um, a few little pacifier clips that I requested for my shower, and a few different types of pacifiers. I'm not sure what she'll like and I'm going to try and hold off on using them um, until like the first month if I can. And then little tiny socks. These kill me like the bundles are so tiny. And then in here I just have a bunch of like headbands, um, really cute little headbands, a few of the smaller beanies that she can wear right now, um, but mostly like different colored headbands in there. And then in here I've got just newborn diapers and wipes that we'll be using right away. Um, this is like a smaller thing I plan on putting in my diaper bag, but I just got the Honest Newborn diapers for her and a bunch of the Baby Ganix wipes from um, my registry as well. Coming down to the second row of drawers, here are a bunch of her sleepers. So these are all newborn or zero to three month long sleeve sleepers and I kind of have them rolled so they're easy to grab and easy to see what you want. And then these are like either short sleeve long pants, something like that. And then on this side we have really simple onesies. So all of her newborn and zero to three month really simple onesies are all rolled up in here. They're so cute and tiny. But I think this just makes it really easy to see what you're grabbing for without messing up piles. And then in here are some different little um, other types of things. These are more like gowns and a few other onesies tucked in there. And then down here I just have some extra blankets, extra sanitizer, um, little bags for our diaper pail, and then this one is empty for now. So. We'll see what ends up going in there. All right, and then coming over to this corner, I've got the diaper pail tucked back in the corner there. I think it's the Ubi diaper pail um, available everywhere. And then this little shelf right here is pretty cute. So this floating shelf is from Wayfair. This really cute little vase thing is from Hobby Lobby. And then this is actually a wooden block set for her to play with when she gets a little bit bigger from my cousin. That was a gift. I don't know where that one's from, but it's so cute. So I put it out on display. And then this is actually her baby book that I plan on writing in. So there's some stuff I need to write in ahead of time. And then, you know, you fill it out throughout their first year of life. So I thought it was just really cute looking. So I put it there. And then that plan is from Home Goods. Um, this is the glider slash rocking chair that we decided to go with. Um, at first I didn't really want to spend a lot of money on something like that, but I'm actually really glad we got this really, really nice one because it's really cute looking and it's something that we can keep in our house forever because it doesn't really look like a nursery glider or anything like that. Um, it's pretty high tech on the inside here. It has a USB charging port for your phone, which is hilarious 
and then two buttons and it reclines back and then has feet that come out. So it's really, really nice. I love the neutral color because like I said, we can use this in our house in any type of room, guest room, we'll probably have that piece forever. So I'm really happy with that purchase. It's super comfortable and Josh and I both plan on using it a ton. Okay, and then coming this way, obviously there's a window here. So I got these uh, gray blackout curtains that I think look really nice with the rug in here um, from just Target and the little white rod is from Target as well. That was super easy. And then I got this little magazine rack, I think is what it actually is from Target and then I put all of her little books in there for us to read together by the chair as well and then I just have this tucked here right now but I plan on using this actually as like our downstairs diaper caddy so I've got a bunch of burp cloths in here a milk saver a haka or haka pump that I plan on using some hand sanit sanitizer wipes um, breast milk storage bags that'll probably go in the kitchen and some diapers and then I'll probably need like a changing pad in there and whatever else but I just have that kind of tucked away for now until I decide what I need in it and you know that will change as things go on and then you come over to this corner so we did actually purchase the snoo bassinet for her to sleep in for her first um, couple months of life so that will actually be in our bedroom but we just have it in here until she comes so um, there's her little newborn wrap in there but yeah this will be not in here once she actually is here and then I saw this idea from someone and I thought this was really cute to actually hang and display some of the blankets and like swaddles and things that you have so these are mostly just her actual blankets um, this I tried to get some gender neutral ones so I can reuse a lot of this stuff if we have a boy um, but this one was from Pottery Barn Kids this is actually my wild bird sling that I plan on using which I'm super excited about so I just hung that here and this one I think this was from Pottery Barn Kids as well. They were doing a sale because the one in my mall was going out, so I got a few things. This is a hand crocheted blanket from one of my best friends for her. And then I think these two on the end were from Home Goods. This one's just like a nice big gray star one and like a fluffy little one with pom-poms that's pink. So I thought that was really cute. And then this kind of like bamboo rack is from the container store. And I wanted something that would actually hold the blankets really well because you know if it's just like straight pegs things just fall right off so this will be really nice because you have two hooks here and it'll be more accessible once the bassinet's gone and I can like hang her diaper bag or things like that and then we could always move it lower in the future for her to grab her own things on and off of it and then you come over here to her crib area it's not even like super perfect but I just wanted it kind of simple so um, her crib is also from Wayfair it looks like the baby Leto one but I think I got a cheaper one instead but it's just a really simple white basic crib and I just put a gray sheet on it I also have a white sheet this was just a little gift from my aunt that I stuck in here obviously there won't be any pillows or anything in here when she is in the crib I know the rules and then this is a handmade quilt that my mom's friend made for her it's really sweet and cute and I love the like embroidery on it so that's just there for now and then um, here's like the little decor so I love these pom-poms I think they're so cute the colors are so cute and the wooden beads I love it that was a gift well it was actually part of the decorations from my bachelorette party from my friends um, last year and I had saved it and thought it was so cute in here it's from Target and it's not available anymore unfortunately but there are a lot of really cute like pom-pom garlands out there so you could probably find something similar but I love the garlands so much and then this little fox painting I got at a really cute little interior store in Bend, Oregon. It's kind of like a one-off, so I can't really link it. Um, I might be able to find the artist for you guys. And then just a light wooden frame. Okay, and then coming over here, um, I got this really cute little kind of crocheted basket from Home Goods a long time ago. And I just have any of like the stuffed animals that people have gotten her or like little lovey type thingies in here or it can also be used for toys but that's all she's got right now so I just kind of have that here because 
The stroller won't be in here stored away like this probably once she's here either, so this will kind of be in the corner. But we got the Up A Baby Vista stroller, so that's the frame. I just have that sitting right there for now. And then here is her little closet situation. It's simple, but it's organized and I'm really happy with it. So these two white drawer sets are from the container store, I believe and they are really awesome. They're just kind of a mesh see-through drawer situation and the top is open, um, but I think this will be really nice as she accumulates more things. And we'll go through what's in there. And then these little bins at the top, I got at Target and I love them. I think they're so, so cute and really functional and they make the closet look a little bit cuter when it's opened up. Um, and then here's like a really cute one. I planned on using this for her bows to put like on her changing table, but it's just not quite as practical with like what I need to be reaching for. So I might find a different spot for that. Um, but in each bin, this first one, I have my Medela breast pump and a bunch of like bottles that we'll try out eventually. I got a bottle pack from um, my registry um, called the Bottle Box. So I think it was called the bottle box and what it is is it comes with a bunch of different types of bottles for you to try out to see what your baby likes before you buy a bunch of one type of bottle. So it has like the Nook in it, um, the Munchkin Latch, the Como Tomo which is really popular, uh, Tommy Tippy, <laughs> one of the, um, what's it called, Dr. Dr. Brown's I know is popular. So it has a bunch of different ones for you to try. And then that way you can see what your baby likes before you buy a bunch, which I thought was so smart and really cool. And then my Medela breast pump is in here for when I need to start pumping. In this second bin, I have more of these huge things of wipes and the next size up of diapers. These were a gift, so I've tucked those in here. Her snoo sack for when she gets a little bit bigger. There's two different sizes and some other diapers that were gifted to us. And then in here I just have like technology stuff. So I've got a portable sound machine. I've heard that's really handy. Um, this is the cover for our Snuggle Me Organic, which is tucked over there. I'll show that in a minute. And then um, like a baby monitor, some other like dust bags for things that we'll need. So this is kind of a little bit of odds and ends in here some extra baby hangers and then here is all of her really cute hanging clothing that she won't really need right away or is too cute to fold so um, I, I think it's kind of in order but I have some cute little zero to three month um, outfits in here a lot of these were gifts from my baby shower she already has three bathing suits this one is so cute it has like little lemons and grapefruits on it this is a two-piece little strawberry swimsuit and this one, this little seersucker one, is adorable. Um, but just some like cute little things for her to wear. I'll show some more. This one has cats on it. This is a newborn Jordan onesie that I bought before we knew it was a girl, but she might wear it anyways. Um, some cute dresses and just little outfits. And then it gets into some of the bigger clothes that we have gotten as gifts so she won't be wearing those right away but it's nice to have them hung and like see see them it's all so cute um, and then here is the bassinet topper to our stroller so that's tucked in there but I do plan on using that when she's a newborn and then I'll go through what's in these drawers not even they're barely even full yet so here I just have some swaddles. Um, I only have four sitting here. I brought a few in my hospital bag and I will show that in a video as well. But I just have four sitting there and then over here are a bunch of burp cloths and um, just like simple burp cloths like that. This is a little box. We just have it sitting out for now, but this is gonna be her baby box. I just picked this up at Target. So I was having a hard time finding like a cute box like this. And I don't have a much inside here yet. I do have both of my pregnancy tests that I took with her and I put it the date on the back of them. And then some Polaroids from my baby shower that are really cute. And then all of the blessing cards that people wrote from our baby shower are in here. And then I plan on putting everything from the hospital. So, you know, some of the like measurement sheets and hospital bracelets and things like that 
are in here will go in here so everything has a home so we just have that sitting out for now because it's kind of cute and then like I said the drawers don't have much in them yet here are all the shoes I have for her so far. Since she's gonna be born in May, I didn't really plan on getting her any shoes for the first few months of her life. I know she'll probably just be barefoot anyways, and I'm trying to be practical with that. Um, but there are some littler shoes in here. These little um, Nike crib boots are so cute, or like crib booties I think is what they're called. And then my friend works at Nike, so she's hooked us up with like the cutest little things. So she won't be able to wear some of these for a while. And then she has some little boots for football season already. And these little sneaker boots. And then these are like those really cute kind of thigh high socks that are really in for babies. You can do with like a dress or a onesie. So one of my friends got us a bunch of those with matching bows. So that is really cute. And then down here we just have like some hats and beanies that she can't really wear right now weather-wise or to fit into back here um, and then here's a bunch of bibs that we got for the shower so those are in there for now as well and then everything else is empty in here I just have an extra boppy cover for our nursing uh, boppy pillow and then the white crib sheet so there's lots of room to add more things and then over here we did get a snuggle me organic um, so that's like the little kind of dog top style thing we'll have for her when she's really little but my cat keeps sleeping in it so I've moved it for now from the crib and um, I plan on just using this like around the house and things with me but I'll need to rewash the cover right before she comes and then over here I just have this extra bin and then I did want to share this baby briefcase that I got basically like an organization briefcase with all these files in it for all the paperwork that you get as soon as they're born and continuing on since we will live in two places at once and everything I thought this would be just really nice to be organized with so it kind of seems silly but I think it'll be really handy this is what happens because he thinks that this room is for him don't worry, we'll be setting some ground rules very soon. He will not be allowed in here. Okay, you guys, so I think that is pretty much it for what is in here. Um, I did want to mention this rug we actually had in our old apartment. We love this rug, and it's got like that salmon pink color, and then it's got some light blues and grays and cream. So we planned on using it in a nursery regardless of the sex, and then we were just going to kind of pull colors depending. So. We pulled some more of the pink color, but it was from Home Goods years ago, so I don't think there's any way I'll be able to link it. If I see something similar, I can try to, but um, like I said, it's pretty old and it's from Home Goods, so the chances of finding it again are very slim. I hope you guys enjoyed this nursery tour and um, all the little things that we've purchased so far. I can't wait for her to get here and sorry that I'm so out of breath filming this as usual but if you have any questions or comments you can always leave them down below and I'll see you guys in my next video.